Hi everybody and thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, welcome back if you've been here for a while and if you're new, welcome. So anyway guys, tonight is like a combination Saturday night shopaholic haul and some new things I found at the Dollar Tree I am totally obsessed with and this is a complete and total Dollar Tree haul, okay? And I do want to tell you about a little schedule change before I forget. I'm probably not going to be doing my Saturday night shopaholic hauls anymore. I think I'm going to do them on Mondays, okay? Because things are, have changed a little bit for me. So Mondays are going to be a better day for me. So I'll be kind of combining shopping and possibly some DIYs. But you can definitely count on shopping on Mondays, okay? And I'm going to think have to think of a different name to call it. It'll have to have something to do with being a shopaholic, right? And then I think I will stick with my Fireplace Friday because even though I don't get like you know, tons and tons of views on it. The the views that I do get and the comments that I do get at, get on my Fireplace Friday, I love them. So thank you for everybody who watches my Fireplace Friday. I am going to stick with that, okay? I really appreciate everybody who watches that. So that being said, let's go ahead and show you the first thing I am totally obsessed with. I'm not obsessed with everything in this video, but there's quite a few things, okay? So look at these window clings, okay? And as everybody knows... Or, you know, I don't know if everybody knows it, but these window clings can be used for other things, too. They don't just have to cling to the windows. And these are so retro. Like, I'll cling them to my canisters, you know. So, like, say if you have, like, sugar canister or a flower canister, you know, you can turn the canister around and just cling it right to it for a little added little cute thing in the kitchen. But how adorable are these? And this one here, like that little candy, that's even kind of like Christmassy. You know, I am totally obsessed with these window clings. And let me show you the ones underneath it. Okay, guys, these are so funny. Okay, I am totally ghosting you. LOL, D-E-D. -E -D. That feeling when you've lost all feeling. <laughs> I can't, can't even read it right. Waiting for my scary docuseries to drop. R.I.P. my Ricky D. Bones and in my bougie spot. Okay, so these are so funny, right? They're so cute. I just love these. Okay, guys, sticking with I Am Obsessed. I am obsessed with these new dolls. Now, you can tell they're the new ones because the picture at the bottom says that they are posable. Okay, and you can see that it's posing. Okay, and you can see the knees. So they definitely are a posable doll. And here is one of them. And here is another one and they have the cutest fashions and they have new faces and they have about four or five maybe even six different skin tones and I know that there is a blonde as well but um how gorgeous are these dolls oh my god they're so beautiful I love these so anyway guys and I'm gonna be um doing a dollhouse probably Halloween dollhouse soon so I wish they had some Halloween clothes for the dolls. I'll probably just have to put some like little hats on them. But I cannot wait to show you what I'm going to do with my dollhouse for Halloween. Okay, so I picked this up, okay. I don't know if I'm going to be obsessed with it yet because I didn't put the batteries in it yet, okay. But I bet you I will be because um, I think it's going to be, you know, wait a minute. Work light with magnet. Oh, it even has a magnet. I didn't even know that. All right, but um, I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put batteries in here. And let me just check and see where the batteries go because I'm filming this with one hand. Okay, so the batteries are going to go in there. And I found out where the magnet is. The magnet is at the very bottom. So let me just kind of show you. See? So that's cool, right? And I'm pretty sure that's going to be three AAA batteries. And yes, I checked it and it's three AAA batteries. So let me go ahead and I'm going to show you what else I grabbed, okay? I got this um, Slim Felt Tip Smudge Roof, uh, mm, smudge proof Eye Marker from LA Colors, okay? And then I am obsessed with this, guys, okay? This is called Face, let me just try to get up a little bit more. It's called Face and Neck Lifting. Now, I don't know because I just took the other one out of the package yesterday and I started doing it. And it says helps lift jawline and reduce puffiness. 
and the fact that it's just a massager alone it massages your face and it makes it feel really good i am totally obsessed with this new thing that i found at the dollar tree face and neck lifting i want to say it's called a roller because that was in the way yeah so roller okay so that's what happens when you film with one hand but how cool is that and i'm telling you right now it really feels good on your face when you push it up and down it's kind of tight and then you put it on your chin you put it at the bottom of your chin and then you roll it up toward the back of your ear and it actually gives your face a really really good massage so i love this okay guys so here is another thing that i am totally obsessed with okay i love these headbands these shower headbands from dollar tree I wear one all the time around the house when I'm doing my housework or if it's just too hot in here, I'll like put one around my head and then I'll just like put a clip in my hair because my hair's starting to get long. But I am totally obsessed with these new stripe colors. Let me just take it out of the bag so you know what they look like. So there it is. And it looks just like any other high end, you know, like if when I'm, we're going to call them high end, in other words, high price, like if you see something in like a beauty store, these are no different. The bowls might be a little bit smaller. But it fits the head nice and snug, perfectly, not too tight, not too loose. I just love this new striped one. I love it. Okay, so I grabbed this book because, first of all, I think it's kind of funny. You know, because recipe for a perfect wife. All right, so it's called Bold and Audacious. Um, a novel by Karma Brown. Karma Brown. And it does actually have recipes in here. Busy Day Cake. Um... You know, you go a few pages and you'll find some more recipes in here. But I think it's actually supposed to be a pretty good story, too. Okay, regardless of the crazy title. Um, it says, a thrilling story that parallels the lives of two characters who struggle with being strong, independent women in a patriarchal world. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty good book. And plus, plus um, probably get some... Um, there's Alice again, and she was in the front of the book, so she must show up a lot, right? Yeah, there she is again. And like I said, there is some um, recipes in here, too. Bread and cheese pudding. Uh-oh. That's going to be a lot of calories. <laughs> but it looks, but it sounds good, right? But anyway, guys, I just thought I'd show you that because of the funny title. Um, and But when I looked in and I saw the recipes, I said, okay, I'm going to read that. I'm, I can't wait to see what that's all about. And that's not... Um, broken that's just supposedly made to look like it had been bent a lot i think because it doesn't seem like this book was bent in any way you know so i'm assuming that that's how it was because there was only one in there okay guys so i am totally obsessed with this new trend that's on tiktok where you find an old picture at a thrift store and then you it's kind of like a landscape picture and you paint in ghosts so i haven't been to the thrift store and you know I didn't know about this trend until after I had already left the thrift store like about a week or two ago. So this I got at Dollar Tree for $1.25 and I think this would be a perfect little picture to paint some ghosts in for that new trend. So I can't wait to put some ghosts in this, right? And then I had had some pictures for the bathroom and, you know, I gave them away. But right after I gave them away, then I saw somebody paint a ghost in a bathtub picture. So I picked up another bathtub picture and I'm going to put like a little ghost in there too. So I can't wait to do that. So I do have a DIY video coming up. I'm going to say maybe in about a week, maybe less where i'll just do the painting of the ghosts right in it you know so i can't wait to show you this i hope i can do it right because i've never done it before okay so these noodles are so good all right and these potatoes are so easy to just open up i rinse them off while the top's still on the can you know like i'll open up the can kind of like take the water out that's kind of salty in there and then i'll put more water in and rinse it that way without taking the the already open top off and these potatoes are so easy to use you just throw them right in the pan to fry them up and then these noodles taste just as good as the ones you buy in the store and pay more money for so these are good and guys how adorable is this towel right and it's not one of those weird feeling towels it's regular cotton i wouldn't be surprised if this says it's 100 percent cotton let me just say um yeah 100 percent cotton okay so it's a kitchen towel life is what you bake it and it says it on both sides how adorable is that right i can't wait to put that in my kitchen and then these little tiny doll dresses are so perfect for the lol dolls they're a little tiny bit big 
so I shouldn't say they're perfect but you can adjust them but how adorable so I grabbed two more and then I grabbed two of these pumpkins these um, foam pumpkins and I was under the impression that they open because they have like the slice in the middle now maybe it's just me I can't even get them open I don't know I've been trying to like you know get them undone and I can't so if you are under the same impression I am let me see this one I cannot pull these apart like there's a trick to it and if they do come apart I don't know because <laughs> I was thinking that they did like so you could put something in it but anyway guys I plan on doing the Halloween DIYs very very soon along with the ghost and the pictures so that should be coming up very very shortly where I'll finish up my uh, Bride of Frankensteins as well okay so that's coming up really soon and then I grabbed some acrylic white uh, paint it's a pretty good size um, you know container of it so I just grabbed this for backup because I'm going to be using a lot of white paint and in the DIYs coming up so that's pretty much it guys thanks so much for watching I really appreciate you coming along on my Saturday night shopaholic haul and keep in mind that this will be my last night doing the shopaholic haul on Saturday I am going to switch over to Monday but it probably will not be this Monday unless I decide to do the DIYs on Monday because like I was saying I'm going to do shopping and DIY sometime combined so maybe I'll just like kind of switch off maybe this Monday I will show some of my DIYs so it just depends on what's going on this weekend. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Um, you know, I don't know if I already said it too, but I'm not going to be really doing the whatever Wednesdays anymore. I'm just going to, yeah, I didn't mention that, but I did say that I will stick with the the Friday, you know, the Fireplace Friday. So I'll put it all um, on my channel, my new schedule, okay? But thanks again, guys. I really appreciate you watching, and I hope you're all having a great night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.